Matt for avnation.tv. We are here in Denver, Colorado at Cedia Expo 19. We're here in the Access Networks booth with my friend Bryce. Bryce, how you doing, buddy? Good, how are you? Doing great. Great Good. to see you again. Yeah. Uh, we are standing on the second level of the Access Networks booth in the lovely meeting space. Yep. Down below, uh, you are showing some great new products, including some new switches. So tell us a little bit about that. So our, we've continued to develop our relationship with uh, Ruckus. Mm -hmm. um, so now we have uh, Access Networks branded, so they're OEMing the switches for us. Uh, we have a complete line of switches, everything from a compact all the way up to what they call their ZP, which is 10 gig enabled right. uh, POH high power, so we can run the big access points that are Wi-Fi 6 and so on and so forth. So uh, we've got uh, seven switches in the lineup. Um, we have four of them on display here. Uh, so it's just the next evolution of our relationship with Ruckus. So it's been great. Why is it so important that integrators understand the relationship between obviously coming to you for access points mm -hmm. makes a ton of sense. That's what your you know your your history is. Right. But realizing that they can't just take that and throw it on any any switch out there. Well, it, when you start start talking about things like uh, Wi-Fi six it, mm -hmm. and access points that require higher power and they require a different uh, link. Uh, connection, they can't necessarily run over a one gig link. Right. Um, they've got to run over 2.5. Um, then you can't just take those access points and put them on another brand switch that doesn't have those capabilities. Right. So this is, you know, part of the evolution. Um, it's part of the the ability to um, look at a project that is maybe deployed already and say, how do I upgrade my client? Right. Right. What can I do with the existing wiring infrastructure and still provide them with the latest technology? Sure. By using the products that we have, they can do that. Very, very good. Um, one other thing that you have, which I, I believe is new for you this year, mm -hmm. um, you've got some actual engineers, some network engineers here, yep. which is not unusual, but they're they're available. You can walk in, talk yeah. to them, sit down, and ask them some, you know, some real questions. Yeah. So one of my uh, regional sales guys said, "Hey, that's the smart bar. Like he's dubbed it the smart <laughs> bar, uh, which means I think that means the rest of us are not that smart, but maybe." <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah, he's. I've got two engineers here, our CTO, who's obviously very bright, and then one of our guys that's handling the phone calls coming in every day. And he's, he used to be an integrator as well. He's a Cisco guy, he's a ruckus guy. And so he speaks the lingo. And then the great thing about it is you can come up and ask them anything about deep network troubleshooting, cybersecurity, about how our systems work, about how networking in general works. Um, so that's a huge uh, benefit to especially the technicians that are wandering the floor and they want to find out about what is it, what's the real difference between Enterprise, what's the real difference between cybersecurity and what some of the other brands are, are representing? Well, we're really getting to that phase where no longer is networking, with the exception of just those, you know, those one-off applications, no longer is it just a, hey, I'm gonna go buy a switch and plug some stuff in. We're, as an industry, really getting into becoming true network engineers, right? Right, yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, just for example, we have two classes that we're doing here. Um, that are free of charge. Uh, we have, we're doing Wi-Fi 6 and we're doing AV over IP. Right. Um, and our classes are different than a lot of those, uh, a lot of the other manufacturer classes because we actually focus on the technology first and then the brand second. Right. Because we know that the focus on the technology will get people to come talk about the brand. Very much so. So um, that's been a huge thing for us in, in, in just educating people on why they should be using a certain level of um, network product right. to, to handle things like AV over IP and Wi-Fi 6 and what does that all mean? Yeah. What does the future look like? What are the emergency technologies? You know, Nathan Holmes, our trainer, is on the tech council with Cedia. Yep. Uh, he's involved in these, these, you know, the bigger picture, and he sees what's coming from an industry perspective. So it's it's that's a huge benefit to to us and to actually the integrator to go and be involved in those classes and with us. Very good. The uh, the last thing I wanted to ask you about was, and, and you alluded to it in, in the last statement, was cybersecurity. Right. Obviously, that should be on the forefront of everyone's mind. Yeah. Uh, it's not on everyone's mind, but it really should be. Right. You have partnered with Sophos mm -hmm. to provide firewalls and applications at that level. Why is it so important to go with Sophos as, because they really are one of the top leaders right. in, Premier, that, yeah. in that channel, not just relying on the, the, the firewall, mm -hmm. quote unquote, that's on the router. Right. Why is it so important to so, have advanced firewall protection? Yeah, it's, it's next gen, right? It's, yeah. it's about being able to, to look at real time threat and then make adjustments, have the firewall make the adjustments right. in real time to prevent against those threats. And when you're doing a stateful inspection firewall, which is just what's loaded on the firmware, yep. 
you're limited to whatever that firmware is. So if you don't go back to that client's house and update the firmware for two years, they're, they're dealing with two-year-old technology yeah. or two-year-old prevention. Right. And with, with Sophos and brands like Sophos, um, you have the ability to have that real-time prevention 24-7. I mean, the, we have somebody here from, from Sophos in the booth talking to integrators about how important that is. On our core systems, we include those services for four years. Right. So you, you know, you, we're, we're looking at it from more of a perspective of how do we make sure the client starts to realize how important this is, especially high net, net yes. worth individuals. Yes. Um, they are targets. And so it's just education process, understanding how it all works, talking about next gen firewall, how that process works, how they get updated, right. how the threats are detected, how they're downloaded to the box that's at the client's home. Yep. Um, all of that is very important. So that's that's why we've selected Sophos, um, that, and they've been a, a, a brand that has embraced this channel very much through so. us, yes. so it's been great. Yeah. Very good. So if people want more information about the new switches in the partnership with Ruckus, the, uh, the Smart Bar, if you're obviously at the show, come down and, right. and talk to them, but also the, the next-gen firewall applications with Sophos. How do people find that information? So the best thing to do is just go to our website. It's uh, www.accessca.com, um, and we can you can you know send in an inquiry, and then our sales team will get back to them, our client services team. Uh, we'll get back to them and get them all the information they want. That's the best way to do it. Excellent. Well, thank you so much, Bryce. Appreciate you. your time. For more coverage from CD Expo 2019 and to learn more about Aviation, please visit avnation.tv. That's avnation.tv.